my next one my friends is mrs platina there's a wonderful rubric which i collected and which i've learned as also as an ancestral tip especially for platina from nerve repertory my granddad used to prescribe as well on the basis of this is like sometimes they feel like there's some you feel like there's something in the mouth when they're trying to speak boy baby shop to see boy baby shop to see so there is no stammering but it's like a thick speech as if something is inside the mouth so you feel like there's something inside the mouth and when they're trying to speak boy baby shop to see and that you have with platina and you can get this quite a few times if you accompany that with a superiority complex if you accompany that with a pride and with other symptoms platina becomes a very good prescription indeed where is feeling as if something is rolled inside the mouth and its mouth is full and therefore when he's trying to speak you get a thick speech which comes out of mrs platina my friends my next one is a medicine for today's modern day world if you think of today's world we are all busy we are all competitive we are all trying to succeed but unfortunately for mr costicum when he is trying to succeed when he is trying to be competitive when he is having doing presentations he is doing seminars he is doing different kinds of demonstrations in front of his workplace in front of people whom he is trying to impress and that's where costicum stutters so whenever there is a project presentation today today i'm going to present about stammering and the, the, this is one of the unique pr presentations so you can look at his face that he is excited it could be a positive excitement it could be a negative excitement but if you think of mostly anxiety and apprehension which takes a toll on mr costicum and hence your costicum is one of your superb medicines for stammering from excitement but when he is at home whenever he is relaxed whenever he is not engaged in something which excites him is absolutely fine but he will tell you you know i haven't been able to get that promotion i haven't been able to get the desired marks because whenever it's performance time i stutter i start to stammer so costicum is your medicine for stammering from excitement we come to our next medicine is mr bovista and when you think of mr bovista my friends mr bovista stutters only when there is they are reading so you they're talking with something they're communicating with someone it's absolutely fine but when they are not when they are reading that's when mr bovista stutters so you ask them to read something you hold them and your bovista will stutter so there is no particular beginning or end of the sentence for bovista but they stutter specially when they are reading and if you combine that with child with lot of articulatory rashes and who develops edema you have bovista where they are stammering from reading my two next medicines are exactly not for stammering my friends but they are very common speech disabilities which you will find associated in today's world my first one is where a child he is sitting in front of the teacher so he's sitting in front of the principal and the principal asks him how are you how are you today and he looks at the principal and replies back how are you today so the principal will think is he joking with me is he being rude is he being arrogant but actually not unfortunately that's the life story of mr zincum metallicum and why is that in case of zincum what you have is echolalia or echo speech so whenever somebody asks him something it takes time to register to him and in his process of registering that information what he does he re, he says the same question again so how are you today so he's trying to register it so in trying to register it he will say the same question how are you today and that's a reflection it's like a parrot which you have with mr zincum metallicum echo speech and if you combine that in zincum metallicum is echo speech with emotional underactivity so he is unfortunately unable to register unfortunately unable to comprehend he has the fag along with that there is physical hyperactivity you have the restless legs in zincum so the echo speech the repetition of the same word spoken by some someone else along with that emotional fag and physical hyperactivity 
makes income an excellent prescription for eco speech. So initially he tries to understand it and repeats the same question but it may look rude to other people in front of him. That's his income metallicum. My next one my friends is another superb medicine which we have used again for generations with very good results. And in today's modern day world of autism spectrum disorders, your calibrometum finds an excellent place amongst them. And how is that? Teacher is sitting in front of the student. The mom, mother, mom is there. So it's like a parent teacher meeting. And the, the teacher asks the student, how are you doing today? And the student is just blank. He looks at the mom and the mom is a bit embarrassed. The mom is a bit humiliated to be very honest because his child is a grown up but he can't understand that or he can't reply that. So the mom tells the child, tell say my, I, I, so the say, child says I am, am doing, doing good, good. So when the teacher asks the question, how are you doing today? He knows the answer. He knows that I have to say that I am doing good today. I am doing well today. But unfortunately, your Mr. Calibrometum or Master Calibrometum cannot frame a complete sentence. So when the mom tells the words, I, I am, am doing, doing good, then he can frame the sentence. And your Calibrometum, my friends, is amnesic aphasia. So he can frame the words, but he cannot speak it in a complete sentence. If you look in any Metro Medica for Calibrome, you will find the word has to be told the word before he can speak it. Can pronounce the word, but cannot frame it in a sentence. And that is your Calibrometum. And when you combine that amnesic aphasia that he can, he knows the words, but unfortunately framing or comprehension of a sentence is difficult. And that becomes one of the best avenues for a Calibrometum prescription. And if you combine that with this, where you have restless hands in Calibrometum, that even, even encompasses better prescription for Calibrometum. So that is again about your Calibrometum and Zincum, where it is more like speech disabilities rather than stammering, which is very, very common in today's competitive world. My friends, my next one is another medicine which you will find very common. Or a, sta or a speech a, a speech type which we will find very common is when people do not have any modulations in their speech. So if they are asked to say a poem, if you think of a geriatric case, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are, twinkle, twinkle, little star, how I wonder what you are. So there is no modulation, there is no fluctuation and it is a monotonous speech which is very common my friends in today's world or Parkinson's and very often this can be dealt with by manganum aceticum. If you think of the medicine manganum aceticum, if you look in any Metro Medica, you will find lot of symptoms which corroborate with Parkinson's and your manganum aceticum is a medicine where you have this monotonous speech, there is no modulations, there is no fluctuation. My name is Shaptoshi Banerjee, I am the fifth generation homeopath, so there is no modulation and you have that with manganum aceticum. Obviously, you do not know if you can help that much with Parkinson's, but do give it a try with manganum with the monotonous speech. My next one my friends, which again is sometimes quite common in today's world as well, where people are so quick, where people are so fast that you will see they are having a hasty speech, that they are having a hurried speech. So, my name is Shaptoshi Banji, I am the fifth generation home path, I have been trained to do this and train train to do that, I am going to share with you a topic on stammering today. So it's a very hasty, very hurried speech. It's almost they're trying to catch a train with their speech. And you have very interestingly, you have that in Heeper, you have that in Belladonna, you have that in Mercury, Hyoscyamus as well, as well as Lachesis. I gave you five medicines: Belladonna, Heeper self, Mercury, Hyoscyamus, and Lachesis, where you have the hasty speech, a very, very hurried speech, where whenever they're trying to speak. It is always they are trying to catch a train and that you have with your these five medicines. I think I have covered most of the areas for stammering and these are very, very interesting medicines with which you can come up with as prescription. If you think of 
the cases as I shared with you was S, B, T, W, so particularly those letters uh, they are stuck with. So, a snake is always stuck with S and I shared with you stramonium where there is a distortion of the face when they are trying to speak and that is a very often applicable. I shared with you spigelia where there is always in the beginning of the sentence ma 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 ma. I shared with you euphrasia where they are trying to recommence the word many times. So, my name is, name is, my name is, my name is Shaptoshi. I shared with Sikuta where its start off is good. So, my name is Shaptoshi, the jerking of the head backwards. I shared with you the monotonous speech of Mangana, my name is Shaptoshi Banji and the fifth generation homeopath. And I shared with you obviously Lycopodium where the stammer at the end of the sentence, stark contrast to the hesitant starter. And also I shared with you a very common day problem in today's world with the stammer from excitement which you have in causticum as well. I shared with you speech defects which you have with calibrometum, where it's amnesic aphasia. I shared with you zincum metallicum where you have echo speech as well. And I shared with you platina where there is something as if thick speech, as if something in, a, in their mouth. You find that post CVA patients where it is, I am trying to speak. So you have that in post CVA cases as well in case of uh, platina. Whenever I have been taught by my granddad who has been in turn taught by his father as well that whenever you come across someone with stammering, if you are a homeopath, make him read 3-4 lines from any book which you have with you, any newspaper cutting which you have with you. And very often my friends you can come up with a prescription where it is either stammering in the beginning, stammering in the middle, stammering in the end or stammering with certain particular mannerisms which is very uncommon to see and very common to understand. In today's world, speech therapy along with homeopathic treatment can be really, really helpful in overcoming the situation. I am sure you will enjoy this video and you will go back and help many, many people who are reeling, who are traumatized, who are becoming gradually withdrawn due to this stammering, who are unable to socialize due to this stammering. And believe me, the homeopathy can bring back a smile on their faces. Thank you very much for your kind time on hearing this video. Long live Hanuman, long live Thank you.